This is Suzanne Wagner, and thank you for joining me. We are doing the numerology for August 3rd, 2024. If you add all those numbers together, you get the number 19, and if you add the 1 and the 9 together, you get the number 10. The number 10 says it is time for a reset. For each person, that will be different. There are moments when things are just getting to a critical point, and when that point is reached, often, quite suddenly, we draw a line, walk away, say exactly what we think, and don't really care what anyone thinks. We have moments in time when we need to let our power move and show us the way. I have had many moments in my life when I knew that speaking the truth and speaking up to a person with supposed authority was going to burn the bridge right down to the ashes. And in that moment, the power did not care. In that moment, the power inside, the number 10, took me over and took over my body and defined when someone had crossed the line. When anyone crosses the lines that require my integrity to be in question, it is clear that there is absolutely nothing that this person has or seems to believe that I want that is worth the crap that I will have to swallow to get it. So burning the bridge is not a bad thing. It is a moment of realization that what we offer does not hold the same value to another. Today, do not stay in a place you are not valued. Today, you might say exactly what you think and feel. Today, you might find out that that it is exactly a place to stand that will allow your power to rise up. If it is, and it is authentic and true, then you speaking the truth to that person is an attempt by an angel for that soul to begin to see the forest for the trees. Speaking up, Telling the truth and then walking away may be exactly what is necessary at that moment. Sometimes we start a fire, but we are not supposed to stay and wait for that fire to turn to ash. For each person, the burning way of ego can take time and be slow and painful. Sometimes they have to be told by multiple people and in various ways to burn that ego to dust. I have had many teachers in my life often try to tell me, the same thing. Eventually something inside drastically shifts and I finally see what they have all been trying to show me. That moment was a powerful culmination of many souls who would not buy into my persona, my ego, my inflated identity, and knew that what I needed to be free and to grow was the harsh truth. To this day, I am grateful to those many souls that took the risk to face the wrath of my ego and try to break down my armor. Perhaps today, it is your turn to find the courage that will be required to do the same for another. Remember, power is to be used for a soul's greater good, not to get even. Power rises honestly and comes out of clarity and precise communication. Often we do not know what we are going to say until it is said. And that voice that speaks can surprise our human self because its wisdom is certainty, its conviction is total, and its willingness to deal with the consequences is fully accepted. That is how real power behaves. That is how we can change the world on a moment, uh, one moment at a time. It will require you to let go of your fears, let go of being accepted and own that you have something to offer. But that offering does not require the willing acceptance from another. That offering is pure and true, so much so that it is offered honestly and bluntly and then released into the winds of fate and time.